Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're continuing on with the forge grind. We're up to the ARs now. We've got all of these ARs done. Gold, so we're ready to unlock the forged camo. We've got the SVA here. We need multi kills for the SVA, which shouldn't be too difficult. We'll have to see. The MCW, which is probably one of the best guns in the game. We need three kills without dying 10 times, but who knows if that is bugged or not. A lot of the camos seem to be pretty bugged at the moment. The FR56, we're going to have to do this in hardcore. I think we need one burst kills. Pretty sure you need two headshots out of the three round burst to get the uh, one burst. So we're going to try and do that over in hardcore. With the DG58, we need strafing kills here. We need 10 of those. So we're going to try and do that one first, to be honest. I feel like that's going to be pretty easy not moving forwards just moving from side to side apparently is the key right there with the holger right here we need 25 kills with an under barrel attachment which should be pretty easy all we need to do is just get 25 kills with that one and then lastly we do have the mtz which we haven't got on right here let's quickly grab it the mtz and for this one over here, we need to get 10 kills in tax stance while moving. So we'll build that out. Make sure we've got that for tax stance. It was pretty easy to get the 25 kills. So we'll see how we go. Enjoy the video, guys, as we grind through. We're going to be doing this on Rust 24-7. So let's see how we go. Sorry, that one. Took around. Just enemy the perimeter. Kill the target area. I'll take an effective fire. Sorted that one. Watch your six. I'll take an effective pasted that one. Alrighty, couple of easy ones done. We've got the DG done. This thing was pretty easy getting those strafe kills. And we also got the MTZ done in that game as well. Just getting the tax stance moving kills. Both of these weapons, very solid. Very easy camo challenge as well. So moving on probably now to the SVA. This thing is probably the longest challenge just because it's 25 multi-kills. So double kills, triple kills, whatever. Got a couple of these done just from leveling this thing up and getting gold. So on to the next one. They tagged me! Question recon. Take your fire. I need Max. Change your max. Stun grenade! Get to cover! Stun incoming! Finally, finally, oh my goodness, that took longer than I thought it was going to take. The uh, double kills with the SVA. The SVA is by far the worst assault rifle, in my opinion. This thing is just a bullet sponge, but we got them done, so now we're going to be moving on to the 
MCW. The MCW just need three kills in a row. We also managed to get the Holger done in that game as well. That was really, really quick. The Holger is absolutely ridiculous, and you saw me frying in that little gameplay. My goodness, this thing is definitely still the best assault rifle in my opinion. Anyway, that just leaves the MCW and also the FR556, so we are nearly done. There's the MCW done. I don't really know what was going on with that. Uh, I managed to get the challenge done, but I definitely didn't get the 10 3 kill streaks so anyway. Uh, it's done. In fact, I'm pretty sure I only got like 30 kills total, so I reckon it's just maybe 30 kills. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what I got, so who knows? I think it was just counting every single kill. Anyway, uh, on to the last one. We're doing the FR56, and we just gotta get these one burst kills, which means we pretty much are 20 kills away from getting Forge on every single assault rifle. Gonna jump into hardcore. We'll see how we go. Sentex! So there we go, the FR56, that was probably the easiest one, honestly, just because Hardcore makes one burst kills super easy. There we go, all of the ARs we now have done with Forge. So we're now 14 out of 36, we're getting up to that halfway mark, looking forward to seeing how the SMGs go. Thanks for watching guys, appreciate it, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.